Hey all, this is Martin from How To Make Mobile Games. Today's video is a quick tip on how to get more downloads by adding other game icons inside of your current games, therefore getting like cross-promotion. Now, it might seem like a pretty obvious thing to include a More Games button or perhaps to you know, lead the player in, into viewing or downloading your other games somehow. Uh, the way that we generally do it is, I'll show you actually on, on my device now, is we include the game icons on in our, the main menu of our game screen. Now, it might appear a little bit messy to do it that way, but it's actually allowed us to actually get more conversions, to actually get the players to download our other games. And I've tracked this here and I'll show you some details, but I'll just quickly show you what I'm talking about on the main menu screen. Uh, I'm using the example uh, our game Gangnam Style versus Dance Zombies. Now, hopefully, you can see this clearly, but this is this is just the main menu scene with the play button. But you can see here we've got one, two, three, four, five games, which are all on the main menu screen. And if the player taps on one of these, it'll go to the Google Play Store. Or if it's downloaded from the Android Market, then it will uh, then it will take them to the Google to the Amazon App Store. So. Sorry, my email, my Gmail isn't signed in right there. But if you do tap on one of these buttons, then it takes you to the, the Google Play market where the user can download the game for free. So the you know overall the cross promotion, like I said, is really important. Um, you could have a add a more games button, but it's not it's much more likely that the user would tap a, a big button inside of the main menu than say a more games button because once the once the game is finished, they might not go to to download the game. So if they play a session, it's not likely that they'll come back into the main menu and then play another game. So that's why we kind of make the other game icons big and bright and sort of generate some interest with those games. Um, it might look a little bit messy, as you've just seen on the main menu screen, but you guys, if you have some uh, designer or artist or you know somebody that can do a little bit better than I can, then it doesn't have to look messy, of course. Um, so I definitely recommend it. And just to give you some numbers here as well uh, that we used inside of our Flurry uh, analytics tool. So if you go to flurry.com, you can put Flurry inside of your game and then you can track all of the events. Like if, when a player taps on the play button or taps on a new game button or something like this. Uh, and Flurry is excellent. I definitely recommend it. It's free to use, free to, free to download. And, and you can track all the statistics for your game. So this is, I've just pulled one here, the, the example that I'm using, uh, as I just showed you, is Gangnam Style versus Dance Zombies. Now this game has been opened since November, roughly 22nd, something like this. That's when it went live on the Google Play Market. Uh, and also on the, uh, the Amazon App Store, it went live uh, around four weeks later, something like this. But in total, the player has tapped the play button uh, 42,000 times. And the play button is that big one in the main menu screen uh, to go to the game. Now. If I look at some of the stats here, I just wrote a couple of them down. So another game of ours on the Google Play Market or on the Amazon App Store is Super Bug Killer. So it's been the game has been opened or played 42,000 times, and the user has tapped Super Bug Killer 1,000 times, which is a 2.3% uh, conversion. So 2.3% of the time, the user is actually tapping on Super Bug Killer, then going to that page, and then possibly downloading the game. Who knows? Uh, we're not actually tracking if the user downloaded the game, but 2.3% 2, 2 of the time is, is pretty good. Uh, this 1,000 times as well isn't from the start of November. If I just find Super Bug Killer here... Um, oh, no, no, sorry, it is. Super Bug Killer is from the, from the start of November as well. I'm looking at this little graph down here, and um, roughly 1,000 times. Uh, another statistic, uh, player taps on Killer Shooting Sniper X 824 times. So, and that's 1.96% of the time, but this one was added after, after November, so this isn't the whole time that Gangnam Style versus Dance Zombies has been available. This, this was, the icon was actually included a few weeks later. So, if I just look for Killer Shooting Sniper X here, you can see 824 times, and players have tapped on that 1.96% of the time, which is, um, overall, is a lot higher if, if we were to sort of calculate both Super Bug Killer and Killer Shooting Sniper X from roughly, say, the middle of December or something like this. It looks like Killer Shooting Sniper X has been tapped on more times. 
Now, that's really good feedback for us, meaning that possibly the icon looks more interesting because it's a sort of it's a sniper crosshair with with like a, a blood splat and a, and a little character, and that looks more interesting probably for the player. So great, that's really good feedback for us. Uh, and one more stat as well: the uh, player tapped uh, Blade Star X, which is kind of um, like a little ship icon, and it looks like a, a neon sort of retro arcade game, and that was tapped 0.9 percent of the time. Uh, and this was added after November as well. And I think roughly at the same time we added this game icon, we also added the Killer Shooting Sniper X icon. Uh, and we can see here that Killer Shooting Sniper X has roughly double the amount of clicks or taps from the user than Blade Star X, meaning that the icon for Killer Shooting Sniper X is probably a lot more attractive than Blade Star X. Um, so that, again, that's really good feedback for us. Again, it might be because of the blood, it might be because of the crosshairs. Uh, it might not be because of the position because they're all quite big and quite they stand out quite a lot in the game But it's really good feedback like I say and I, and I recommend um, Including the game icon in the main menu or some kind of post game screen. So after the player is finished and they say uh, a pop-up says hey play again or play some different games Definitely give them that choice because it's likely that the user has finished the game. They might be looking for another game and if you're giving them the option to say click on a more games button or go to the icon directly, that's a very cool way to do it. Um, and you're likely to get more downloads that way. So uh, anyway, I hope you like this tip. Um, we include all of the game icons in all of our games and you know it's great for cross promotion both on iPhone, um, iPad and then also on Android on the Google Play Market and the Amazon App Store. Uh, you'll find some good cross-promotion that way and we actually have a, a few comments from players saying hey I played all of their games and it's great uh, likely that they downloaded the games because of the game icons in the main menu so uh, I hope you enjoyed this tip I hope it's useful for people please let me know if you do include it in your game and, and drop a link for the game as well you know I'll, I'll be happy to download it and check it out so but for now everyone have a great weekend have lots of fun and happy developing okay bye bye